It's podcast day. It's podcast day. Welcome in, friends. Hello, welcome. Welcome into this channel. Welcome to the Hey Brownberry podcast and to my corner of the YouTubes. I'm so glad that I can do a short intro to this video. It is the second in a two-part series. Is two parts a series? <laughs> it's the second finished object video um, that I wanted to share with you. And this time we're going to be talking about Citrine, which is a pullover pattern by Emily Green. I'm going to link up here the first video I did on my finished Emalia pullover. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you can either check out that link or I'll post a link to it in the description box. So the video that I recorded about Citrine is from some days ago. So it sounds like some of the references are a little bit off in the timeline. That's why I'm just going to introduce it. And I talk a bit about how I feel about the pattern and I'll share some video of it. Um, with me wearing it. So I hope you enjoy this video and my review of the pattern. See you on the other side. So whenever this little segment is inserted to a podcast episode, I will have told you about this top and my plans for it as I'm showing it to you. This gorgeous yarn is from Mayak. Came in this beautiful bag with a sweet note because it was gifted to me by a fiber friend. Um, and this has languished for a long time. <laughs> I had a conversation with a couple of friends this week, one specifically about works in progress and, um, you know, another one about just honoring the seasons of a project. This one had its season where I worked on it consistently and then it had its season of sitting untouched. <laughs> so after talking about this whip again recently, I thought the finishing is what's stopping me from this, this project just coming to a beautiful end. And it's not the finishing pieces. It's not the components like seeming. It is the fact that I'm positive I will run out of yarn to knit full length sleeves, which is what the pattern calls for. And that really stalled me out because I really like the look of the original, but I seamed these shoulders on purpose so that I could do exactly what I've done here, which is to try it on. And I love this as a short sleeve. There's so much beautiful shaping and texture already in these shoulder areas and right here in the yoke. I feel like this top doesn't really need any more and that it can definitely work for me in this climate as a very soft, very luxurious short sleeve top. So I'm going to get down to the business of seaming this up, finishing the neckline and turn this into something wearable instead of something that's waiting on me. I'm going to frog these sleeves as you can see, they were never going to be too long sleeves, but I was going to try to work them into, uh, you know, a shorter sleeve look, which would be nice on this top as well. But instead of figuring all of that out, I'm going to use this little bit of yarn. I'll use that little bit that's left to finish this neckline and seam it up and call it done.
Uh, Emily Green is a designer that I came to know through a pattern called Citrine, so we can talk about that one first. Um, Citrine was knit by a friend of mine, Jess, loved the way it looked on her, and then it was knit by another friend of mine, Anne, loved the way it looked on her, and there was something so compelling about the texture details in this pattern. And if you visit Emily's website, and I hope you will, you'll see that texture and shaping and flow are really her strong suit. Um, she has several garment patterns and other patterns in which you can see the beauty of stitches that are created in a certain way and that move in a certain way and just how fabulous that can be. And then you add, you know, the body shape underneath that garment. It's, it's incredible. It's very compelling. So I started my citrine sweater some long time back. If I remember, I'll put the, the official start date on the screen here, just so you can appreciate how long I let this project languish. I've only recently seamed it up. Um, I took some time to figure out what I wanted to do because I was playing major yarn chicken with this project. I'm stepping back a second. The yarn is Mayak, um, and it is a delicious, yummy, soft yarn. Uh, all the details of the project will be in the description box below. Many of you know Mayak yarn, you're familiar with Mayak fibers. I was fortunate enough to be gifted several skeins of this yarn by my friend Anka, who is Anka Stricke online, and I I knew it needed to be a garment. It seemed like it was enough to be a, a decent garment for my size. And I am so glad that I paired it up with this pattern. The issue came with not really thinking through the yardage that I had and the yardage that I would need to make the pattern as designed. So Citrine is designed as a long sleeve pullover with a good amount of ease in the body and less ease in the sleeves. Um, the shaping on the, the model is gorgeous. I'll put a picture uh, here on the screen of the original. And I loved how it looked. I thought, this is the sweater that I want for this. I swatched and I knew that the Mayak yarn would, would show the texture of the twisted stitches beautifully. Um, but I just didn't have enough to do the long sleeves. and. Typical of me that that 10% gets me every time when it comes to finishing. Once I realized that I would have to modify the sleeves if I wanted a shorter sleeve, you know, using the drop shoulder technique, I could, I could do a short sleeve and yeah, I could have finished that with the yarn I had left. It still would have been tight though and it would require a lot of math and at one point I just gave in to the idea that it probably wasn't going to work, but instead of figuring out what to do at that time, I just put it away. I realized that really this citrine was most of the way to being a wearable garment. I had seamed the shoulders so I could double check the fit. Um, I loved it on. I loved how it felt on. I loved what it looked like already. And so a couple of days ago, I put it on and decided, I'm just going to seam up the sides and turn this into a short sleeve, really a, more of a cap sleeve top. I'm so glad I did. Here's some video of the sweater on. Uh, I, I may or may not talk about some details while I show it to you, but here is my finished, modified for short sleeves, Citrine.
There you have it. Another whip becomes a wearable wardrobe item. I am very pleased that I could share this with you and I'm hoping that this progress through my unfinished objects continues. I'm so glad to be here in this space with you and thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who shared their project updates with me in the last episode. You can continue to do that here in the comments. Do you have some garment plans? Share them with me, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this time around. I will see you again here on the channel. Thanks for being with me, bye for now. Mwah.